I'm looking for Bitcoin to go to 100,000. So that was that 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 prediction is still in place from 2011. Okay, almost 10 years ago. So that's my standing my long standing prediction. I recently increased that to 400,000 because I now I, I now am completely confident that Bitcoin will compete with gold. So that's the macro trend, that's the that's the multi-decade trend that we're talking about. Now within that series of predictions or within that within that series of price targets, you've got medium and short-term price targets. On the on the short term, obviously the 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 run to 20,000 is is key because that would make new all-time highs. And so once it gets through 20,000, from being a wall, long-term Wall Streeter trader myself, you know, I've been in the, basically in stocks, markets, and finance for uh, third, over 35 years. Once you see an asset like this break through the old high and make a new high, you should see a surge um, into uh, an, an extension of, uh, in my view, I think we'll see 28,000 on that run before we see any meaningful pullback. Tyler Winklevoss wrote, this is code to buy more Bitcoin, responding to the Fed chairman Jerome Powell. As Max Kaiser points out, the order books show no Bitcoin for sale, up to $20,000. Any offers between 20 to 28,000 will get pulled. I'm looking at a possible pause at 28,000. Then he continues right here, Bitcoin won't pause until 28,000. We'll update my forecast once it gets there, but I don't see any pullbacks until 28K. That's right, a $28,000 Bitcoin price. If that excites you, let me know in the comments. Also. Max went on to share 16k is no resistance none at 17k either virtually no resistance at all bitcoin has no top because fiat has no bottom <laughs>